Even for the boat here, it's a higher Regency hotel. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Asha kuri shakuli bhalo achin. Video shuru ta dekhe, hoi to ane ke andaj kutte bere chhe aami akon kuthai shi chhi. Aad chara buzhte paare ni, tara amar video ta check kutte thakun, au shui jantte paare bhen. Asha kuri aaj ke vlog ta aapna dheer bhalo laag bhe. আগের ব্লগে আমি হিউস্টন ডাউনটাউন ঘুরেছিলাম আর তখনই বলেছিলাম আমি স্যান অ্যান্টোনিও আসছি তো চলে এসেছি আজকে স্যান অ্যান্টোনিও তো আপনারা যারা হিউস্টন ব্লগটা দেখেননি তারা চেক করে নেবেন আমি এখানে লিঙ্কটা অ্যাটাচ করে দেব আর আমি চলে এসেছি সেই ফেমাস জায়গা স্যান অ্যান্টোনিও রিভার ওয়াক এখানে আমরা একটা বোট রাইড নিয়েছি টিকিট করে এখন দাঁড়িয়ে আছি আর আজকের ব্লগটা আর আমি বেশি কিছু বলবো না কারণ এই বোটের মধ্যে একজন গাইড আমাদের থাকবে তিনি সব কিছু আমাদের বলবে আর আপনাদের সঙ্গে সবটা শেয়ার করব সেই গাইড যা যা বলছে আপনারা সেইটা ফলো করবেন কারণ আমি যদি কথা বলি তাহলে পুরোটাই বুঝতে পারবেন না আপনারা সেই জন্য আমি ভাবলাম যে আপনারা দেখতে থাকুন আর আমাদের গাইড কিভাবে গাইড করেছে সেই যে ছিল আমাদের বোটে তিনি কিভাবে বলছেন সেটাও আপনারা শুনবেন আর সবটাই তো আপনাদের সঙ্গে শেয়ার করব শেষ পর্যন্ত আপনারা ব্লগটা চেক করবেন আর বিভিন্ন সুন্দর সুন্দর ভালো ভালো জায়গা আছে এখানে দেখার সেগুলোও দেখতে পারবেন বোটে তো ভীষণ সুন্দর আমরা এনজয় করেছি তার সঙ্গে আপনাদের সঙ্গেও শেয়ার করব সব কিছু শেয়ার করব আপনারা পুরোটা দেখলে অনেক কিছু জানতে পারবেন তো সাথে থাকুন Hey, welcome to the San Antonio Drag Boat Races! Yeehaw! Oh, y'all are really excited. <laughs> I guess that's because you know we're only going four miles an hour. Therefore, you must remain seated at all times. Please keep everything. Eyes, ears, nose, mouth extensions. Big kids like me. And little kids inside the handrail. Go ahead and grab your seat belts. Thank you. And no reaching up and touching the low-lying bridges. Hey, my name is David. We'll be together about 30, 35 minutes, yeah. two and a half miles. If you have any questions, please keep them to yourself. <laughs> I mean, feel free to ask at any time. Well, someone's awake here getting it. <laughs> hey, beginning the tour here, going around the field on my left, is on the east of the Little Village, originally housing for Spanish soldiers in 1718. The two buildings on my left here, the Little Ryan Steakhouse and the Fig Tree Restaurant. Both of these are homes of early German settlers. Today, uh, La Vita is a little village behind these two restaurants. Arts and craft shops, about 30 of them, open to the public. Geniality starring Sandra Bullock. And above the stage here are five very important bronze bells. These five bronze bells are for the first five Taco Bells. San Antonio. Okay, maybe not. Busted. How about the five missions on our mission trip? The Texas Longhorn Cattle here on my right side, 1968. Then for many, many years was a circus museum. We stored, we bottled up, and that's the Briscoe. Inside you'll find Sword and Pancho Villa's last known son. Yeah. In front of us here is a big... Coming up underneath the bridge here, We'll be surrounded by beautiful cypress trees. They're all along the river walk, many of which are well over 200, cypress. even 300 years old. So. And coming up on the right side of the boat here is going to be a small island with a black metal sculpture on it. This island is made up of the roots of this beautiful cypress tree. The black metal sculpture is called Father Massey's Table. It's been on the island in 1991. And I remember some of the mass he did on the river in 1691. We call this Marriage Island. Many weddings are performed on the island. 
right above us here at the Nevada Street Bridge, go right over the Old Mill Crossing. In the 1800s, it did not have grocery stores, so if you had grain that needed to be ground into flour, you'd bring it here to the Nat Lewis Mill, and they would do that for you. But this was the most popular wagon crossing in the 1800s. Here the river is shallow, flat, hard packed, and the wagoners did not have to unload and reload their wagons to cross the river. We call it gargoyles. Gargoyles are either ugly humans, ugly animals, they're part of the roof draining system. Water runs off the roof, out the mouth of the gargoyles, and falls into a water filtration system. Then below the windows here, you see these faces. You might say they look gross. It's because they're called grotesque, and the window trim is done in the neo-Gothic architectural form. Yeah, it's not the building. <laughs> Yee-haw! It's in New York City, baby. Coming out underneath the bridge here on my right side is the International Commerce Building from 1968 to 1998. This was San Antonio City Public Library. It now houses offices of the governments of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The archway in front of us here is floodgate number four, which is below the water here. As we go through the archway, you see the markings of the floodgate on my right now. The San Antonio River naturally flows through this floodgate to my left for 138 miles, or joins the Guadalupe River for 10 to flow down into the Gulf of Mexico. So for safety purposes now, I'll be honking my horn. Coming up from underneath the archway, down the river to my left, is floodgate number five. It's closed, maintains the level of the water in our park. If you look back there, it looks like a drop off. It is about a 15 to 20 foot drop off. That's why me and my boat are going this way. And we just came out of what is called the River Bend area in 1921 that a very serious flood hit the River Bend area. Claimed at least 50 lives that we know of and millions of dollars in property damage. So between 1926 and 29, they dug out this man-made portion of the river okay, called the Blood right. Bypass Control yeah. Channel. It's only deep by the river, 15 to 20 feet so deep. Well. And they put in floodgates 3, 4, and 5. So now it's just a potential flood. So close floodgates 3 and 4 to the river bend area. Open floodgate 5 behind us. The water comes rushing through here, bearing the river bend area. I noticed some of you looking at the locks up here on the fence. Chapel have their ceremony, say their vows. As a part of the ceremony, we'll come out, put a rock on the fence, and drop the key in the river. A couple of weeks ago, some guy was out here looking for his key. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like him. <laughs> but we ain't taking on the boat, Captain, that's for sure. <laughs> in front of the boat, about four miles north up here, is the Encarna Word University campus. On the campus is the spring from which the San Antonio River originates. That spring is fed by the Edwards Underground Aquifer, which is an underground limestone lake, 180 miles long, 5 to 30 miles wide. In some parts of the aquifer, they've never found a bottom, it's sat deep. And the aquifer supplies the San Antonio metropolitan area. As the story goes, back in 1835, a Spanish soldier, sniper, climbed this tree, shot a Texan soldier named Ben Milam, been called the Ben Milam tree ever since. And right above us here is floodgate number three, pocket door stop gate, weighs three tons, six stops, and 15 minutes to raise. So now we're leaving the man-made flood bypass control channel 15 to 20 feet deep, we're re-entering the river bend area. We're now back in the natural flow.
Below the glass windows are hotel rooms. The glass windows are condominiums. The one bedroom started about $465,000. Like a penthouse on the top floor, they start at about $1.2 million. Wow. Hey, you buy the condominium, I'll buy the chip dip and sodas, and we will party! <laughs> Back here at the convention center, opened in 1968 and 1968 Hemisphere World Fair. They named the convention center after Henry B. Gonzalez. When we come out underneath this bridge, straight across the river, you'll see a statue. Friday after Thanksgiving, we have a Christmas holiday parade to begin at 7 o'clock in the evening. The bear flips the switch, all the lights come on, the parade begins, so there's a holiday season. And then we'll, we'll turn the lights off on the second week of January. We have a big football field. The first week of January, they, they've asked us to be the lights off for that every year. Back here, the shops of River Center. This mall opened in 1988. It's the only mall in San Antonio, <laughs> built around the lagoon and the river. If you love the shop, you'll love this mall. Over one <laughs> And we have a beautiful lagoon area back here. Lots of folks love to come back here and visit with friends and family. Lots of food and drinks. Inside the mall here is the island. Inside the mall here is a food court. Restaurants on both sides of the river. Here is the ice chocolate, marble slab ice cream. Great place to hang out, relax, visit with friends and family, have some food. Four floors and the elevator shaft here on the site. They were constructed on 485 rooms off site at the Yankee Factory construction site. Not only they construct the rooms there off site, they also completely furnish the rooms. Bed, bedding, dresser, mirror, refrigerator. Everything those rooms needed was in there except for one item, the TV. Then they put the rooms on semi-flat bed trailers, brought them to the side here, put them in place with cranes. And once the rooms were installed on site... Aaj kheer blog ta kemon laaklo, abo shri komente jana bin. Aar channel ta abo shri subscribe kore rak bin, paashe thaka bell icon ta click kore dibin. Ta huli nutun nutun video notification apna dekache pohunche jabe.